Here is a look at the top 10 plays from the week that was. At number 10, Liberty City's Trinell Troutman. And just a great scoop and score here. We saw a lot of scoop and scores. This was one of the better one, number 10 on our list. Yeah, you just see that. Whenever you get the opportunity as a defender to scoop and score, it's all about that. Well, at number nine, Jameer Dismukes gets the ball. Now watch the block here, guys. Wham, are you kidding me? That's exactly what you want to see. Turn that interception, get it down. But yeah, great block that made that play. Yeah, when those defenders get the ball right there, you're going to see this block coming up. He's going to make the interception right there. Now watch them transition to offensive players. Pick off one guy who's got a team running in front of him. Well, at number eight, Daryl Spurl says to his quarterback, give me the ball, just pulls it right out of his hands. I love it. He actually ripped that ball out of his quarterback's hands, and then look at him spinning and running on his way to the end zone. Spurls looked like Darren Spurls yeah. right there. Built like him, too. You see the balance ability to take that ball into the end zone, breaking tackles along the way. Well, at number seven, broken play, horrible snap. How about the heads up play from the quarterback? Curtis Williams able to get that ball, roll to his left, and then throw a dime to his receiver, Clinton Lindsay, who's going to take it in for a score and another great block. I've been pressed all week long with the poise some of these young quarterbacks have shown with the ball in their hands. At number six, Stacy Sneed and just a wall of blockers in all white. I love this, and I know DDI does too. Look at the offensive lineman out in front. Everyone's going down the field, picking up blocks on his way to the end zone. Yeah, that's when you're as a returner and return that ball. You're trusting your teammates to get out in front of you and great vision and ability cut back. Number five, Sonny Eugene from Greensboro. Guys, watch this. His goal is to let every yeah. player on defense touch him before he gets the touchdown. If it was flag football, he might have been down because everyone did touch him, but they're not tackling him. I tell you, I don't know if it was poor tackling, but outstanding running either way. But you see his ability. You're right. I think all 11 defenders did touch him on that play. Well, right here, Hayden Glenn says, give me that ball with the INT. That's like a rebound. He's fighting for it. He rips it right out of the receiver's hand, and he's not going to be stopped on his way to the end zone. That's what you call real toughness right there and determination. Again, look, his teammates are fired up. Watch him high point the ball. We go over the top of the receiver and take the ball away from him. And he's not settled to go down. He wants to score, and he does. Man, you said that with a glint in your eye. You like those tough guys, DDI. Absolutely. At number three, Francisco Barrero Sanchez. Just a little slip screen, but watch this. You know, 85 yards later, he's going to break a couple tackles, show you his speed on the way to the end zone. Impressive run by that young man. I tell you, you see some of these fine athletes, once they, once they get to the perimeter, Boy, that's when the athleticism and speed takes over. A difference maker right there in the game. He's out of breath there. He gets across the finish line and says, I'm done, coach. I'm cashed out. And look, it's like he, had, he was greased up. I mean, they were sliding right off him, not making a tackle, but you're right. He just made it over the end line. At number two, Jensen Beach, Tyrese Jackson. Great pick there, but much better afterwards, DDI. Yeah, Tyrese Jackson, he was on fire all game long. And his ability to focus on the football, catch the tip ball, and then transition to offensive player and break that many tackles on his way to the end zone for six. You know, I'm still upset with Bristol, our uh, home base, that this didn't make Sports Center top 10. It was a nominee, but that's just a phenomenal play. Well, we did have a Sports Center nominee, not only a nominee, the number one play of the night right there, Garrett Denny, Minitron, we were calling him, and as he lays out. Minitron laid out like a guy that was six foot six there. Covered some real estate. Great throw by his quarterback. That's a great catch. I don't care if it's the NFL, college, or Pop Warner. Well, you saw the opposing coach there. You could read his lips. He said, my goodness. We agree, coach. My goodness. Unbelievable play. Garrett Denny, the number one play of the week at Pop Warner Super Bowl.